out of the box. So forget about the chow chow, we are making sorrel chutney. Sorrel has become so diverse in a lot of dishes. So anything you make for the Christmas season, the sorrel chutney will pair well with everything. So join me in the kitchen, we're gonna have some fun and make sorrel chutney. Guys, I have my pot here and I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to saute or stir fry the ginger and some garlic. So I have about 4 cloves of garlic and a piece of ginger and I'm just going to stir fry that a bit, saute it. Yeah, that crackle and the ginger is coming through a lot. It's very fondant and it smells absolutely amazing. Right? I don't want to, you just want it to get a little saute to, you know, develop the flavors there. And now I'm going to go in with some water and I'm going to go in with two cups of water. I'm just going to pour it in here. Two cups of water. Just let that marinate a little bit, get the flavors going into this water. Alright. So I'm gonna add one more cup of water, which makes it three cups, and I'm going to add in three pimentos that are finely chopped. Alright, and I'm going to go in with some parsley about a half a cup I'd say of parsley alright next I'm gonna add in my exotic sorrel flour and I use I've cleaned it and I'm, I'm we're using the petals of the sorrel so I'm gonna add it in it's about five cups I'm gonna add it in and I use a mixture of the dark and the red because it said that the darker sorrel is a lot more sweeter. Whereas the red gives it has a little acidic taste. So I mixed it. But what happened is that the red sorrel gives off the color. The red vibrant color. So that's why I mixed it. Both the dark and the red. So best of both worlds, guys. So I'm just going to leave this here. I'm going to cover it and let this boil and simmer and soak in all that goodness. Alright? Then we'll add in all our other fresh ingredients. boiling for about 15 minutes and you can see the sorrel petals have become a lot more softer and it's coming together and you can see a chutney consistency coming forth so what I'm gonna do now is go in with two cups of sugar brown sugar to sweeten it up a bit and I'm going to add in all my fresh ingredients. So I have here shallabeni. So I have my shallabeni here, which is cilantro. And I have one whole white onion that I'm putting in. And also some chives. Right? So it's all going to go in there. Chutney, it's all about flavor 
and you know fresh seasonings will bring forth that. I'm going to add one one juice of lemon going into going into it. And I'm gonna mix it. And I have here one scotch bonnet pepper, finely chopped. Now some people like to leave these seeds, but I took them out because this pepper is really hot and I don't want it to be extremely hot. So I'm just gonna mix it. And I'm gonna leave this to simmer for about 15 minutes again so it can get thicker chutney is all about thickness so we're gonna let this reduce a bit more and check it in a few so i'm gonna go in now with a little bit of black pepper Alright, so we have a little black pepper there. And I'm gonna go in with a little salt. Just gonna drop in two bay leaves, give it a little flavor. And I'm gonna hit it with one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna go in. If you'd like, you can add more sugar to your taste if you like it sweet. Some of you might like it a little more savory or the best of both worlds. Now I'm gonna just give it a little mix. And it's coming together, it's drawing down as you can see. If you'd like, you could like to add more water for it to cook a little more. But the consistency you're looking for is something thick. Just make sure that the petals of the sorrel has been cooked thoroughly and it's, you'll see that in the way that it starts to combine together. Okay, so I'm going to leave this and when I get back, our sorrel, should, our sorrel chutney should be finished. So guys, this is the final product. I'm going to take off the heat and it's ready to come off the pot. It looks absolutely amazing. This is the consistency you're looking for. So I'm seeing that a lot of the darker sorrel has overpowered so you're not getting that bright red color but I can tell you I tasted a bit and it tasted absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna piece a bit here. This is really good. So what happened, I added a little bit more sugar because I wanted it to be a little more sweeter for my preference. So I added two thirds cup again of sugar and it's exactly where I want it to be. It's absolutely amazing. Um, obviously, I'm going to remove the bay leaves and now I'm going to bottle it. This sorrel chutney, you can use it as gifts. You know, it's it's really something unique. So I'm going to bottle it and show you guys and final product. So guys, this is the final product. As I said, you can give your friends and your family as gifts. It tastes absolutely amazing. And it tastes even better when it's chilled. So you know, you get that hot ham coming out of the oven. With this nice chilled sorrel chutney, it will be super amazing. I want to thank you guys, as always, for living with me on my channel and having fun with me in the kitchen. It was absolutely amazing shooting this sorrel chutney video. And as always, give your girls some love, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to spread love and joy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!